Hello. It's Hello. time for part 2.5 of the Banjo Trilogy. It's Banjo Pilot. Hey. This is not a real let's play of Banjo Pilot. It's highly truncated because this game is there's a lot to it and it's very repetitive. Okay. It's like a roguelike. Yes. It is uh, randomly generated or procedurally generated. But yeah, uh, I'm just playing the single player. There's all these different things. We're just gonna go through the Grand Prix. And we're gonna play as all the different characters. Yeah. Kazooie is my favorite. But uh, yeah, I back back out to show these people, show their different stats. Okay. We're playing as Kazooie. Uh, Kazooie's not actually a good character. Oh. So look at how shitty this game looks. Oh, wow, that's something. <laughs> look at his enormous fists. Wow, he's got yaoi hands. <laughs> yeah. Big slappy. His fucking yeah. attempt of this race. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. This game, like... If you thought Grunty's Revenge looked bad, then this is uh, kind of going to be a shocker how bad this game looks. Puddles looks like a fucking horrifying Windows 98 screensaver. Yeah. That like your grandma would have because she thinks it's cute. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. The Grand Prix works like any kart racer, except you're in planes. Like oh, a certain other kart racer they made. This looks bad. Yeah. Mario... There was a Mario Kart game on the GV that looked significantly better than this, wasn't there? Yeah. So, there's... Holy oh, I shit. crashed. <laughs> there's rings that you can fly through that give you a boost. You can fire your gun, which is neat. That is cool. Uh, there's items. Everything you would expect. There's also... Uh, notes around that don't actually do anything in the race itself. They facilitate unlocking unlockables. Yeah, yeah. The Saucer of Peril is the blue shell, by the way. Okay. Yeah, there's four notes on every course. Being able to, like, fire a gun is cool. Yeah, it's not super useful. You have to hit someone a lot for it to matter. Uh, fire eggs are homing. There's no, like, green Koopa shell equivalent. Probably because it would be impossible to aim in this game. Yep, that would be I hard. guess the green Koopa shell is firing your pea shooter. Yeah. So why isn't Kazooie a good character? Uh, she just kind of has bad stats all around. All of her stats are kind of bad. They She's got all right handling. Oh, that's... You'd think she would have bad handling. Yeah. Also, a fun fact about this game that we'll go into more detail in later. It wasn't going to be Banjo Pilot originally. It was going to be a Donkey Kong racing game. Huh. Listen to this music. This... That... It's got a fucking chimpanzee in it. <laughs> That's a donkey con- what the? Yeah, they didn't change any of the music or anything, or like any of the stats characters have. They just basically did a graphic swap when they got sold. That's so fucking weird. Yep. Also, to facilitate this, after that first race, I'm only going to show like the first lap of every other race because you don't need to see three laps of every single course in this game. Yeah, I also like how the Spiral Mountain course didn't look like Spiral Mountain and was not a spiral or a mountain. Yeah, the only thing is they changed the backgrounds because all the race courses were done too. Yeah, it... Did that second race course, did that have the same layout as the first one? No, it was a little bit different, but not super different. There, I guess there's only so much you can do on the GBA. Yeah. 
Yeah, look, it's freeze easy peak. I guess it is. Yeah, they have a snowman in the back with the buttons and the yeah. scarf. And they've got that iconic freeze easy peak music. Yeah, they do. Also, Mumbo Jumbo, you may have heard him there. He just sounds like Donkey Kong. Yeah. I mean, they're voiced by the same guy, Grant Kirkhope, but he really just sounds like Donkey Kong in this game, and it's super disconcerting. Yeah. Now that you've pointed out this just a reskin of a Donkey Kong game, I can't help but notice it everywhere. Yeah. It was going to be Diddy Kong Pilot, originally. God. As a, like, spiritual successor to Diddy Kong Racing. But yeah, here's uh, Hailfire Peaks. Fireside, specifically, I guess. Yeah. I don't even think they changed the background for this one, because there's nothing about it that actually is unique to Hailfire Peaks. All of these tracks look very boring. Yep. Also, I'm not doing super great at the game. That's fine. I really won't be able I've... to tell. Yeah. I've beaten this game, like, on the GBA and 100% finished everything. Hmm. But that was a while ago. Here's something unique about this game, though. Uh-huh. There's a dog fighting system. Okay. At the end of every Grand Prix, you have a dog fight. You have to gun him down. Yes. And we'll be fighting Kazooie as Kazooie. Because this is the Kazooie one. Yeah. So right now we're on offense. We are behind them, firing. Only offensive things come out of the honeycombs now. Uh-huh. Which, that's nice that they don't, like, give you things that would be useless. And now we're on defense. Just every so often you switch places. Okay. That's kind of On defense, they're trying to shoot you down, and you get the Mingi Jongo skull still, which is basically like the lightning bolt. Yeah. And ice eggs, which are banana peels. Okay. This, this is kind of There's... neat, actually. Yeah, I, I like this. Like, it's not great. Because this game isn't great, but, you know, it's, it's there. Yeah. yeah. It's something unique. Oh, here's the, like, shittiest looking part of this game. What the hell? Was that supposed to be Klunga, or...? <laughs> Look at this! Why is there a Jinjo? The Jinjo came in third. <laughs> In the Grand Prix. Holy shit, this... This looks like a bootleg. Yeah, it kind of does. There's no way this looks, like, significantly better at all in, like... Like, before they did a palette swap. Yeah. So I'm just showing you can go in and just single race if you want. All right. There's not much reason to. There's time trials, you know. What you would expect in a racing game. They, they just have There's to also... play noise every single time. Yep. You can look at your trophies. I accidentally backed out because any button at all backs out. Oh, that's weird. Yep. Jiggy challenge we'll look at later. And there's Cheeto, who's how you unlock new things. Every race, you get some Cheeto pages. You get more Cheeto pages if you collect the four notes, or, you know, any of the notes. Also, never and mind what I things. said about the bottles being a screensaver. This looks like a fucking screensaver. Yeah. Alright, we bought the green globo in Grand Prix mode, which adds a new mechanic to the game that I'll show... At some point, I don't remember exactly when I show it, but it's in here.
So yeah, back to Grand Prix. And this time we'll play as Banjo, who's a much better character than Kazooie. Nice. Bottles gives us some uh, advice. Mm -hmm. Oh look, it's Treasure Trove Cove. This actually looks like Treasure Trove Cove, yeah. Yeah. They actually have it in the background, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. That is maybe kind of a problem with this game, is that the level's in the background, and you're not actually racing on it. Mm-hmm. So you can see there, we did a, uh, a loop-de-loop. A somersault. It didn't look very good. And no, it didn't look very good, but it caused us to not like spin out okay. when we got hit by that uh, fire egg. Interesting. You know, <laughs> it's it's a cart racer. Yeah, here he goes. Yep. Remember Clanker's River? That place no. that exists? <laughs> Did they just slap Clanker in the background? Yeah, they didn't have any other day any other names for this course or aesthetics. So they just kinda stuck Clanker in the background. God Yeah, it's a river that presumably lets out into Clanker's cavern. Maybe it feeds the water there. Maybe. That'd be interesting. Maybe Clanker escaped. Oh, look at his guts. Oh, good. Yeah, he's he still looks like Clanker. Which is never a good thing, honestly. Yeah, you don't want to look like Clanker. Look, it's Granny Industries. It looks just like it. Remember no. all the blue flooring? No, no, this isn't it. This Remember is the Bowser. lava? <laughs> This is a Bowser the, level. Yeah. All the lava in Grunty Industries, remember that? They couldn't even change it to be like green, like the toxic waste in Grunty Industries. What the fuck? Yeah. I like the idea of a banjo racing game. Banjo has been in a lot of racing games. Yeah. Maybe. He's been like in as many car-based games as he has been in platformers. Yeah, he has. If you only count Nuts and Bolts as a car-based game, then he's been in more car-based games than platformers. I mean, it seems like Nuts and Bolts is more car than platformer, so... Yeah, I'd say it's half car, half platforming. Hmm. Platforming within a car counts as platforming, I would say. I don't know. Yeah, I think most I don't people buy disagree. That. Couldn't you just make a car that doesn't have to platform? Um. Yeah, you can make a car with wings. So. So it's a car game. Yeah, it's a car game. Okay. <laughs> Did you see Gobi back there? No. <laughs> he was just hanging out on the track. Cool. First we have to fight Humble Wumba. Humba Har. Yeah. Look at her portrait. Yeah. Also, she fights with lightning balls. This looks a, a lot harder than the last one. Yeah. Kazooie barely attacks at all when you're in... when you're on offense. She just, like, tosses a couple of clockwork Kazooie eggs at you. Mm-hmm. So you want to be, like, constantly barrel rolling during this when all you're right. on defense, because otherwise you'll just they will chew through your health. Wow. 
like Dark Souls. Yeah. Oh my god. Wow. You're getting beat up really bad. Yep. Humble Wamba don't play. At least Minga Jango is just free damage during these. Yes, that's nice. But yeah, uh, these are really just a test of how well you can barrel roll and how good you are at aiming ice and fire eggs. Mm, Alright. Doesn't this sound like a banjo music please? track? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Remember the part in Banjo Kazooie, that one song where the guy goes ah 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 a lot? <laughs> Did they have like a Sonic Rush kind of game? <laughs> no. <laughs> Unless you count it would this. Have been fun if they did. I yeah. It's kind of a disservice to Sonic Rush to say that. Yeah, Sonic Rush is pretty good. It's fun. It's where the boost mechanic comes from, which is weird to think yeah. about. Yeah, that is kind of weird. Also, I will say, I like this game, mostly. It's bad. It looks nice. like shit. It's a little boring, but I think it can be pretty fun when you're actually playing it. <laughs> I don't believe it is, you. It is a perfectly serviceable kart racer. And look at this shit. <laughs> yeah. You'll notice that everybody in that whole uh, lineup are characters from Grunny's Revenge because they already had the renders from making yeah. Grunny's Revenge. Very cool. Yeah. They didn't want to, like, make new ones. They didn't want to have to go and draw characters from Kazooie and Dewey, so they just didn't. Fair enough. I still haven't seen what the uh, other what the Globo is for. Maybe not. But yeah, we uh, we just bought Humba Wumba, so we can race as her now, if we want to. Okay. Yeah. Good to have her on board, I guess. Yeah. You've purchased Humba Wumba. Yeah. <laughs> she says, <laughs> she her, says name. her name like a Pokemon. Yeah. Go do the beehive cup. Things are oh, a bit great. trickier here. I bet they are. Yeah. Remember Freezing Furnace? Uh, yeah, that's Grunty's Revenge, right? Yep. Did that level suck? Well, yeah, it was in Grunty's Revenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Yep, it's uh it's a rectangle. Yeah. That's just a straight rectangle, huh? Yeah, with these little bits of uh like tracks inside of it that you need to go on. Can't you just like fly above them or what? Uh you still slow down because even though it doesn't make sense, that's how it works in order to still be a racing game. Oh. Yeah. Can they have just made it a kart racer? Yeah, they could have, but they wanted it to be planes. And the planes help differentiate it from like the Mario Kart that was on the GBA you mentioned earlier. Yeah, I guess. Because if they made it carts that it would just be a worse choice for a kart racer than Mario Kart is, but here it at least it has something is. going for it. I mean, it still is, but at least it's unique. Yeah. In a way. I guess. Yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah. I miss Sonic. Uh, I miss Sega All Stars Racing Transformed. That was a good game. Yeah. You know, Banjo was in one of those games. He was in the first one that wasn't very good. Yeah, but he's in it. Yeah. Because he's sure. been in more vehicle based games than uh, platformers. Yeah. I wish they would make a, like a, another one of those. Yeah, Team Sonic Transformed. Racing's a little different. Look at the Globo! Hey. We finally saw one. What'd it do? Uh, you have to shoot it. And I didn't oh. realize it was coming up, so I wasn't ready to shoot it. But if you shoot it, it makes a boost, like a special boost pad appear. Or boost okay. circle, I guess. And I do eventually shoot one and show that off. I can't remember if I do it here or not. Because I uh, away, recorded huh? this a while ago. Yeah, for the sake of showing it. Uh, okay. Go, 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 go. Bo -bo, go. Oh, is that what he says? Go, Globo, go? I thought he said that. Probably. I always heard it as go, 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 go. But the thing you said makes more sense than just saying go <laughs> four times in a row. Remember Jay Roger? Yeah. That's his business name. Yeah. But yeah, the green Globo just basically boosts you ahead and does a lap for you. And you move super fast. Cool. Yeah, it's uh, a thing you can do to just get ahead if you're behind, or get really far ahead if you're already ahead. Yeah. It's like calling in Luigi. Yeah. Oh right, this would have multiplayer, wouldn't it? Yep. But I didn't record any multiplayer because how am I going to rope someone into playing this game with me? Yeah, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Also, uh, he's been mentioning we've earned enough points for a gold cup, platinum cup. That's based on, like, your ending score. Because it scores you the same way like Mario Kart does. Yeah. And... If you get first in every single race, you get a Platinum Cup. If you come in first overall, you get gold. Also, Banjo fights with washing machines. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah. But yeah, your cup color depends on if you just come in first overall, or if you come in first every single race. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I've got a, a Banjo pilot cartridge lying around somewhere that came, that's that got all platinum trophies. Because I was a bored Jeez. child. Yeah. Good job, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I did it. Also, I had a much easier time with Banjo than I did with Humba Wumba. Oh yeah, that actually looked quite a bit easier. Also, listen to the sound Humba Wumba makes here. <laughs> oh, wait. oh god. That noise right there, that extremely racist oh, thing. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> They managed to make Hubba Wubba more racist than she was. Because <laughs> before it was just like bad character design for the most part and her talking funny. But they did the thing. Do you yeah. think Nintendo wouldn't let them do that? Nintendo probably doesn't care. Yeah. Why would you just as... want to play as a Jinjo? Hmm? 
Why would you just want to play as a Jinjo? Uh, because Jinjos are cool. No, they're not. Jinjo is playable as a uh, multiplayer character in Banjo Tooie. Is he the odd job? Yes. You so... asked that the first time it came up too. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's Witchy World, which has the green toxic goo that uh, Grunty Industries should have. Was was there any green goo in Witchy World? No. Also, this BGM sounds more suited to, like, Mad Monster Mansion. Yeah, I was about to ask if they just ripped it from a banjo game or something. No, it's not ripped from a banjo game. It just sounds like it would be more appropriate for Mad Monster Mansion than Witchy World. This is, like, the first track. It sounds like it's from a banjo game. Yeah. Sort of. It's not as good as music from Banjo games, but... It's on a GBA. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I managed to shoot that Globo, but then I missed the uh, boost. <laughs> You'll get him next time. Yeah, the purple Globos create a series of boosts, and if you get all of them, the last one boosts you pretty hard. This is just Treasure Trove Cove again. Yeah. They, uh, it's, it's the didn't same. have a whole lot of areas to choose from. <laughs> they didn't have a lot of ideas, and they didn't have a whole lot to pull from. It's the same. I mean, the track design is different. Is it? The layout is. Alright. Like, it looks the same, but it's got a different layout. Oh. Jesus. Alright. Yeah, Jinjo is actually probably one of the better characters in this That's game. Depressing. Most it's got like a five star and a like a five stat and a four stat. It's got low top speed, but it has high enough acceleration to kind of balance that out. Okay. Or maybe it has high speed and low acceleration. I'm honestly not sure because the stat screen is hard to read. Yeah, it's just a bunch of colors. Yeah, and like pictures. And like, is the speedometer acceleration or speed? Is the Maybe picture speed? of an airplane going fast acceleration or speed? Oh, I Jesus, don't know. Actually. That's a good question. Yeah, either of them could be either. Oh, we're gonna try for the Globo again. Oh, we missed the last one. Alright. We'll get it eventually. One of these days. <laughs> hey, remember Cauldron Keep? Remember all the ice around Cauldron Keep? What? Remember how Cauldron Keep was an ice level? They- this is Freeze Easy Peak, but they like put something new in the background. Yeah. They- they literally cropped out the snowman and put Cauldron Keep in there. Yep. I guess Cauldron Keep's on top of a mountain, presumably, so maybe it's, like, no. icy on top? No. No. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't. I, even when I got well, like, this game, when it was brand new, and I was still either a child or, like, a young teenager, I don't remember how old I was, but even when I got this, I looked at these stages and was like, this can't be right. <laughs> wasn't it cauldron keep like was the mountain wasn't it cauldron keep was the tower all right we did it oh cool it plays a special Oops. uh fanfare <laughs> all right we're almost done with the bottles cup grand prix you thing. must race against me <laughs> yes Bottle Spotter, holy shit. How do you beat Bottle Spotter? Uh, same way you beat every other dogfight. Also, he has the power of lightning. What the fuck? <laughs> you know, bottles. What did he gain in the afterlife? He became a Thor. 
Jesus Christ. I have no idea why bottles create storm clouds. Neither do I. I wonder if it made more sense, the character that they just changed bottles into. Who the fuck would it have been? Yeah, I can't think of a Donkey Kong character that has a power over storms. Was it Marvel vs. Donkey Kong? <laughs> yes, Marvel vs. Donkey Kong. It's a really shitty little looking thundercloud too. Yeah, it looks like absolute garbage. It's like a spell effect in the worst RPG on the system. There, there were absolutely better looking games out by now, right? Oh, absolutely. There were better looking launch games for the GBA. Okay, good. I just need to make sure I'm not misremembering. No, this game looks bad. Their whole, uh... They were really married to the concept of using 3D models and re-rendering them as sprites. It looks awful. It worked really well for them with Donkey Kong Country. So they just kept doing it for every 2D game they made after that. They didn't stop and look at it again? No. Look, we got a ribbon with Bottles' face on it. That's horrifying. <laughs> yeah. Bottles doesn't take anything with dignity. Yeah. Completed all the races in the Bottles Grand Prix.